Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy. And I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. We're going to dive into your year of 2021. What do you need to know? What messages the angels have for you? And um, how you can best navigate this year of 2021. Like the majority of the signs I've seen, I think that this is overall going to be a great year for you. I see you doing some work. I see you working through some things, but there are so many gifts that are going to be arriving into your experience in 2021. So the first cards that we're going to talk about are the overarching themes, the big themes that you can expect through 2021. 2021 is is the beginning of a new journey for you and even if this doesn't start right at the beginning of the year it's like you finally come to a place where you are ready to do some things that you've been thinking about for a long time that you've been dreaming about for a long time you are letting go of fear and you are allowing yourself to just go for it whatever it is some things in your life that you've been thinking about going for whether this is, um, you know, starting a, a, a business or, or starting something new or getting different work or opening to a new relationship in your life or just what, whatever this new journey is, this is something you've been thinking about opening to for a long time and um, you allow yourself to just go for it. The next card that we have here is the three of water. You are this is a, a, I see you just kind of celebrating life more this year. You know, um, the three of water is very much about celebrations and sometimes it's about specific celebrations like a, a wedding, you know, so for those of you who are hoping to get married, this can be a wedding. This can be a, um, these are like those rite of passage celebrations. So a graduation, um, a new birth, but this doesn't have to be that. This can be also just celebrating life or, or, or going and enjoying the people in your life more or feeling like you're getting out there and celebrating more and enjoying life more. So this is going to be an exciting shift for you because I feel like you've held back in some ways and now it's time for you to celebrate and enjoy life a little bit more. The next card here is the five of earth. And the reason that you're able to celebrate, the reason that you're able to open yourself up to new beginnings is through the five of earth. It is through the release of fear that has held you back for a long time. And I see you taking a look at some of these fears that you've had and you either take a look at that and you go, wow, that's like just such bullshit and that doesn't apply to me anymore. And you see that really clearly or you just decide to go for it anyway. Maybe you feel afraid and you acknowledge the fear, but you go for it anyway. So I see you really challenging that. And because of that, you are going to be really successful and enjoying this life that you have created for yourself. The next card is the Empress card. Okay. So this is like the Empress lives an incredibly abundant life. She has everything that she needs. She has, um, time. She has opportunities coming her way. She has money coming her way. She has the things that she wants. She manifests the life that she wants and loves. And this also is like very much with this three of water, this can be, um, also like a, a pregnancy. Sometimes with the Empress card, it's a pregnancy um, and a, 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 a significant pregnancy in your life, whether that's your own, whether that's someone who is very connected to you that just brings in even more joy into your life. But this doesn't have to be that. This can also be a giving birth to your dreams, especially with this dreamer card, right? It's like you decide that you get really clear on the life, a uh, life that you're going to be excited about and you decide to just go for it. So I see you working toward that here in 2021 and, you know, also be open to love. We have the love card, right? Love is coming into your experience and this can come in the form of a romantic partner. This can come in the form of a relationship that is, you know, deepening, connecting more, um, this can be in, in self-love, you loving yourself more, or just like connecting with other people, feeling connected, feeling loved, feeling like you can give love. Because sometimes we, we block ourselves from 
feeling like we can give love and that fear when we release that fear allows us to open our heart so be open to that and i see you being open to that in 2021 as the year progresses so the next set of cards that we have here are connected to the challenges or barriers that you can expect um i pulled two cards from the uh, cards that are from my deck and I pulled the release card and I pulled the clarity card. You just get clear. And um, sometimes getting clear on what you want or what's next for you can be challenging because you spend time processing and um, maybe confused to start and then things get clear. So allow the process, allow yourself to process it all and explore it all. Allow yourself that time to just connect with your soul quietly so that you can allow those messages to come through. But I also see you letting go of this feels to me like some of your own bullshit, you know, things that you've done for yourself that have kept you stuck, that have kept you held back for a long time. And I, I see you letting go and I see such freedom that comes with letting go of fears and letting go of the bullshit that has kept you stuck for a long time. Now, the next card that we have here is the seven of water. What you are opening for yourself is actually options, lots of options ahead of you, exciting options ahead of you. And you're not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to choose because you have a lot of things showing up for you at once. And um, you're not going to know what to put your time and energy on. You're going to feel confused. You're going to feel like, oh, this is great. I have a lot of good happening for myself in my life. Why am I orange right now? I don't know what's going on with this lighting, but we'll, we'll just go with it. Um, you're not going to know what's happening, but um, it, you're going to need to make some decisions, okay? The decisions will have to come from your soul will have to come from, again, taking that time out to listen. You are going to find the clarity on it. You are going to get clear on what it is that you should do and where you should go next in your life, um, what opportunities you should take, what what is going to be the better situation for you, but you're going to need to like look within to take that time to look within in order to get that answer. It will come. The Queen of Fire. This feels like a person in this case. A lot of times the kings and queens represent a person. So this is either, you know, this person that you are passionate about, this queen that you are passionate about, or this is you connecting to your own fire, to your own confidence. The queen of fire is so confident and, and just strong and um, speaks her truth and just is comfortable in her skin and I feel like this energy is coming in for you whether it's someone who inspires this within you or someone that you connect with but somebody who is fiery and passionate and exciting and um there's just such a, a confidence that comes with this energy this is also about you stretching your wings and flying okay and I feel like this energy just really inspires you to stretch your wings and fly, to, to to start these new journeys, right? And to start this new journey in your life, you are connecting with that confidence within that is really fostering and allowing that for you. The next card that we have here is the Knight of Air. Again, clarity. We have, we have an, another clarity card, basically. This is like Clarity comes in and it comes in rapidly. You just get it. You just understand what you need to do and where you need to go. So if you're not clear on things, understand that that clarity vine is absolutely going to come. Just take that time to listen to yourself, to spend time in your own energy so that you can receive those messages. The next set of cards that we have here are the gifts that you can expect in 2021. And the first card that we have here is the life experience card. So again, I see a lot of change for you. This is like the end of something in your life, one phase of your life, and the stepping into a new phase. But this doesn't feel bad to me or scary to me. This feels exciting. I feel like you're going to be excited about life. I feel like you're going to be excited about the directions that you're moving in. So just allow it. Allow whatever wants to go from your life to go. And, um, you know... I, there's kind of an energy of like holding on to things just because this is the way that it's been or you're just used to it. You're just in the habit of doing things this way and you finally get to a place where you're ready to let go of that, to open to new, to open to this next phase, to open to better things, to arrive into your experience. And they do with this three of fire, right? The three of fire is just 
it's it's success in your work it's success in your life it's um the arrival of abundance this is very much an abundant year for you you know um you might have to be a little bit patient but amazing things are arriving into your experience and so you're gonna find yourself on this new journey but making long-term plans for where you want to go with this and 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 um, allowing yourself to really trust in and see the vision of exactly what you want and, and really enjoying the journey that you know is carrying you there. I feel like there's a confidence in this that, wow, like I'm really on the right path now and I'm really doing well. So once that clarity of mind steps in and you allow these blessings that want to come into your life, it's really going to be amazing for you. Page of Air, another clarity card, right? Uh, a new way of thinking, a fresh perspective. And it's like this fresh perspective is everything that you need to create a life that you're excited about, to create a beautiful life for yourself, to create a beautiful new beginning for yourself. You see it clearly, you create this new beginning and, and you feel joyful with your life. Last, car last card that we have here is the play card, okay? you are just going to feel so much more playful this year. Once the fear goes, once the bullshit gets removed out of your life, it's gonna feel light, it's gonna feel joyful, it's gonna feel playful. Surround yourself with the people and the circumstances that let you connect with that playful part of yourself, that childlike part of yourself, that part that wants to enjoy life and wants to be playful, even in situations where you know, like we might have in the past seen them as work or challenging. And it's like you find this playful way to do life in 2021. So those are your messages. I hope that those connect for you. I am excited to see where your 2021 takes you. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button below. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com. I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care.